this is my second uh, pH test. I decided to include some more spring water since they uh, appear to pass the test more often than not. And uh, I also included a couple of just uh, regular waters just because. So, uh, see the, the chart there? It gives you a pretty good indication of uh, what good water is and what, what uh, is not. Um, and so without further ado, we'll start with uh, the first one, which is uh, it's, uh, Albertson's uh, drinking water. And uh, that uh, Albertson drinking water is not real happy. Not real happy. The next one comes from a five gallon g container that I got at Albertsons. It's a uh, sparklets drinking water. And, uh, you can see for yourself the color of that water is uh, pretty yellow. Not real happy. And then there's the crystal geyser. See, we got some green water going on there. Yep. So that's decent. And then we have green water going on here. This is just a Kroger Spring Water. It's a generic brand. And here, Albertson spring water, and you can see that's yeah, pretty green water. And of the three green waters, probably hard to tell from this view, but of the three green waters, these were actually put into order uh, as to their level of darkness in the green range. So the Albertson spring drinking water comes out ahead of Crystal Geyser and uh, certainly comes out of that sparklet stuff. Okay, but then we go into a whole different realm. A whole different realm. This one here. Now, this is actually getting clearer and clearer all the time, but right now it's actually blue and when the test was really really started about an hour and a half two hours ago this water here was purple it was pretty purple and it came from this Essentia bottle that says 9.5 and at the time uh, it was 9.5. Now I don't know why it's gone blue and then and then lesser blue to a point of being clear. I can't answer that, but I imagine it the way it's going is just going to keep going until it's clear again. I don't know. Anyway, there you have it. Some spring waters. Uh, they, they work out well. A couple of bottled waters that are not so good. I don't know why they call these waters purified drinking waters if uh, they can't stand the test uh, they shouldn't be uh, labeled purified drinking water you know what I'm saying but again check the waters in your area see how they line up for you and uh, make your own choices thanks for your time